Okay, so I spent the afternoon making some cove molding to use in the office down in my basement, uh, just to tidy up the corners up around the ceiling. Um, and this was all cut from some rough cut lumber that came out of the front corner of my um, lot here at home when I first moved here. And so I had a couple knot holes that came all the, the knot came all the way out. So this one I've already filled and it's, you know, it, it was a good, um, almost a dime sized knot that went most of the way through. So what I did is I started off with making a little dam out of just some blue painter's tape like that. And so I just had an empty cavity back here. And then just took some super glue and would drop a little dab of super glue in there, just a little, little pool of it. And then I've got some super fine dust on the, this is my dust collector shop vac thing. Um, just some super fine dust. So I've just been getting a finger full of this and sprinkling it on. And what happens is that super fine dust, I don't know what the chemical reaction is, but it actually causes the super glue to cure really fast. Um, it gets pretty warm. Um, like you don't want to hold your finger on the back side of this tape because it gets so hot, but um, it cures really quick and really hard. Now it's kind of brittle stuff. Um, so it's not a structural type thing, uh, but it's a quick way to fill little knot holes like that. Um, if you don't have super fine dust from a dust collector, you can also use baking soda. So I've got another um, little knot here to fill. So I'm gonna do the same process. All right, so I've got it positioned up. I've just got my little dam set up with my painter's tape. And I'll just drip a little bit in here. So that's overflowing probably more than I need, but I'll come over here. I'll just get some of that. You can see the super glue just kind of starts to soak it up. It's hard to do this one handed. And then you can use a toothpick or whatever. I just have my little metal pick here. I start around and work some fresh powder in there. And so all the wet areas are starting to dry up. You can see it's super hard already. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this back down flat, pull the tape off. I might still have a little wet super glue under here, so you wanna be careful so you don't touch it. So you can see that the super glue that I'm using it's kind of thick, and so it didn't run down into that cavity real well, but that's all right, because now we've got a dam this way. Sorry for the shaky camera work. And we'll just repeat. So there we go. Now, of course, it's a little proud of the surface here. So I'll just use a razor knife and 
going to trim that down and be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've got it trimmed down, sanded flush, and that little knot hole is now filled. So these are going to get painted. Um, you'll never know that was there.